There are some really simplistic ways to add documentation to your floor plans in Revit. Let me show you some of those. First of all, let's say I want to tag my doors and windows. There's a tag I'll not tagged that will immediately create all of my door tags and all of my window tags. I want to add some dimensioning to this plan. So I'll grab my dimension tool and I can set some preferences. I want a dimension to the face of the walls and I want to dimension entire walls. Now all I have to do is click the wall and I get my dimension string. This works just as well for interior walls as it does for exterior walls. Now let's go ahead and change some options and tell it that I want to dimension with openings, maybe the center of openings or the widths, it's up to you. And I can add that dimension real quickly as well. So dimensioning can be very easy inside of Revit and making adjustments to those dimensions is easy also. Just by grabbing these little grips we can move those dimensions so they're not in the way of our window tags. Let's say I wanted to add a callout for an enlarged view. All I have to do is grab my callout tool. I have different types of callouts that I can use, but I'll go ahead and just draw this one. When I get the callout, I have grips to easily adjust the bubble location and the callout itself on screen. So now that I've added some of this annotation, what happens if I have to change the scale of the drawing? Right now you can see it's an eighth inch equals a foot. All I have to do is pick my scale setting change it maybe to quarter inch equals a foot and all of my annotation immediately updates to match that particular scale. If I went back to sixteenth of an inch equals a foot same thing holds true. You might have to make some adjustments about placement of entities but all your scaling automatically updates which can save a huge amount of time. In addition to the annotation updating any hatch patterns will update and line weights will update also to match that particular scale. So with Revit, adding annotation is very easy and being able to adjust the scale of that annotation at any time on the fly is very easy as well.